As mayor of the town of Lunenburg, it is my honor to welcome you all to the annual Fisher's Memorial Service. As we begin, I want to acknowledge that here in Lunenburg, we are in Mi'kmaq, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. And here in Lunenburg, we conduct this service each year since 1925 to honor those who hailed from Lunenburg County ports and whose lives were lost pursuing their livelihood by fishing. We give thanks that in the year past, we experienced no new losses. We also give thanks for the prosperity the fishing industry has provided in the past and continues to provide for families throughout Lunenburg County. In this spirit of Thanksgiving, we reflect on the year of 2020. This year, our world, both literally and figuratively, has been overtaken by COVID-19. Dealing with the pandemic has impacted everyone in many ways and in varying degrees. It has changed the way we function in our everyday lives and has also taken the lives of loved ones all around the world. It has also forced us to look at our lives and our way of life with new perspective. With public health restrictions currently in place, we're not able to gather together, as has been our tradition, to support each other by being physically present for one another. But we have found ways and we'll continue to find ways to support each other, ways to continue to build community and ways to preserve what is important to us. The Lunenburg Fishers Memorial Service for 2020 is shared with you virtually this year, but it is offered with the same degree of respect for the strength and courage of those fishers lost and the same solidarity of spirit for the families friends, fellow fishers, and entire communities left to grieve. This year, 2020, is also the 40th anniversary of a tragedy that impacted this community deeply. During the summer of 1980, we experienced the loss of the Margaret Jane and the lives of four of her crew. As a Lunenburg teenager at the time, as a friend of crew members aboard that vessel, and as a mariner's daughter, this incident had a profound effect on me personally. It was my coming of age as a Lunenburger, a citizen of a fishing community who began to appreciate the legacy the fishing industry had on this town and the toll it takes with the bounty it offers. Today, we are reminded of the lives sacrificed in the pursuit of earning a living from the sea. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bernadette Jordan, your Member of Parliament for South Shore St. Margaret's and the Minister of Fisheries, Oceans and the Canadian Coast Guard. As the MP for our community, I'm honoured to participate in this ceremony with you today. We've all gathered together to recognize the sacrifices made by the hardworking women and men in our fishing industry here in Lunenburg County. As you know, fishing is more than a living, it's a way of life, and a huge part of who we are as Nova Scotians and Atlantic Canadians. As we reflect on those we lost at sea, we honour their extraordinary contributions to our coastal communities that we call home. Fishers are who turned early settlements into bustling towns and cities as we know today, and today they continue to drive our communities forward, creating jobs, bringing in food, and keeping age-old traditions and ways of life alive. So today we pay our respects to those we have lost, and we give thanks to those who have returned to us safely. Thank you. The Lord is my pilot. I shall never be alone. He leads me across the darkest waters and takes me through deep channels. God gives me strength in the night watches and true to his word, guides me by his own bright star. I am not afraid of storm or wave, lightning or dark, because you, God, sail with me. I am comforted by your presence. Even when the seas get rough, you provide all the safety I need. You have splashed me with promise, and I am full of gratitude. 
your sun, your moon, your stars will provide direction for me wherever I go and will live with your presence in my whole voyage long. Hi, my name is Hilda Vessel. I am the Curator of Interpretation for the Fisheries Museum of the Atlantic. And it is my honour today on behalf of the museum to be at this service. But the greatest honour is being asked to speak at this service for which so many of us hold dear to our hearts. Being rooted in a fishing family myself has given me personal insight into all the tangled waves of emotion that come from being part of a fishing community. I, like most, truly enjoy the beauties of this colorful, picturesque town of Lunenburg, with its castle on the hill, its towering church steeples, sprinkled with wonderfully ornate heritage homes on its formidable hills. This is not a description that denotes hardship, but despite all of our beauty, we have not escaped tragedy. This very room, the Fisherman's Memorial Room, was born out of tragedy and a community's need to memorialize those lost at sea. Due to COVID-19, we cannot all gather together to pay our respects to the fishermen of the past and the present. A tradition this community has been doing since 1925. Traditionally, the museum has always invited everyone to come to the Fisherman's Memorial Room following the service, but times are a-changing. And the practice of COVID-19 safety measures of physical distance has prevented us from being together. But it has brought us the opportunity to bring all of you into the Fisherman's Memorial Room. Immediately upon entering this room, there is an atmosphere of peace and reverence. This may not translate virtually, but it is almost as if this room has a soul. It is a space that swiftly molds your mood to one of somber remembrance. The Fisherman's Memorial Room did not have its beginnings at the Fisheries Museum of the Atlantic. The idea to have a room that honors the fishermen was cast from the community. With the funding from the province and the artistic vision and research of Joseph and Tila Purcell, the Fisherman's Memorial Room was officially dedicated and opened by the Honorable Robert L. Stanfield, Premier of Nova Scotia, in the community's new Fisherman's Building today known as the Community Center in 1959. If you made your way to the second floor of the Community Center, there would have been a door to your left that had a small wooden cross and a tiny half model of Luno's with the words, in memory of the fishermen and the vessels lost from the Lunenburg fleet. This wooden plaque is now mounted to the right of the memorial room as you enter. Located beneath this plaque is a book of records of the names of those who contributed to the development and maintenance of the Fisherman's Memorial Tribute. Today, upon the museum's entry to the Fisherman's Memorial Room, there is a wooden plaque above the doorway with two crosses, an anchor, two silhouettes of a vessel that reads Fisherman's Memorial. The essence of this room is captured by the emotive painting by Joseph herself. Juxtaposed by the stark honor roll of the names of the fishermen lost at sea. Coming into this space, you are immediately struck by the 18-foot mural depicting the Sea of Galilee by Joseph Purcell. The dominant figure is Christ calming the waters. Christ is surrounded by the apostles, but we naturally envision fishermen caught in the stormy seas, praying for the calming of the waters. 
In a scene like this, I can only assume this is something that too many fishermen are far too familiar with. Captain Bill Curry of the ill-fated Concordia said, no sane person wants to be squeezed through the impossibly small and frightening narrow slot that can separate life from sudden death. Words that I assume stir haunting memories from many fishers. Off in the distance, the mural depicts blue hills that represent fair skies, safety, and hopefully one's destiny. But this is off in the distance, and what is immediate is the threatening peril of those caught out to sea. Like, the mur like reality, the mural portrays a storm taking its toll on more than one vessel. It is bad enough when one vessel gets caught in Mother Nature's wrath, but here in Lunenburg with its fleet of fishing vessels, too often left so many at home consumed by anxiety and fear. Beneath the mural is the following biblical passage. And he rose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. This inscription was done by Tila herself. Further creating the atmosphere of the room is the stained glass window. The window depicts a cross section of the ocean using blends of rose and blue in the sky, orange fishing boats, and dark blue hues of green down through the ocean depths with bronze colored glass to represent the ocean floor. Joseph Purcell worked with the stained glass manufacturers to ensure the work created the right ambiance. In the center of the room is a table used by Captain Angus Walters of Blue Nose when she was working as a showboat, touring the Century of Progress exhibition in Chicago, Toronto's Sanitarian Celebration and King George with his Silver Jubilee in England. The chairs are those of captains. We also have two sailmakers benches located in the room. On the opposite wall of the stained glass is the pictorial map showing locations of the many vessels of the Lunenburg fleet that were lost at sea. Red numbers represent vessels lost with all hands, with those vessels' names on the left. And the black circles indicate vessels lost without total loss of life, with those vessels' names on the right. Joseph Purcell painted the chart with the different fishing scenes. This chart visually indicates the treacherous areas of the sea that has claimed far too many lives. Directly opposite the mural is the honor roll of the names of the fishermen lost at sea. This work was done by Tila herself. She spent countless hours doing research by digging into old records of the annual fishermen's memorial services and then drawing upon the memories of community members and the local newspaper. There are over 600 names. I have often sat in this room and taken in all of these names, taking the time to consider that they are not just names but victims of the sea who left wives, children, mothers, fathers, and friends at home to deal with the loss. As a wife and a mother, I try to imagine how those widows coped with the loss. What was it like for so many those women to see their sons go out to sea, the very place that took their husbands. This room has been a cherished space since its very beginning at the community center. 
1996, the room was moved to its current location on the second floor of the museum in the Stormy Seas Gallery. The museum is proud to have this sacred room on our site. We recognize the significance of giving the community and those who have lost loved ones an appropriate place to remember. The annual Fisherman's Memorial Service is a time to pay homage. To grieve is not to forget, but to remember. COVID-19 has altered our traditional way of having our annual service, but it should be of no surprise that Lunenburgers have figured out a way to navigate around this obstacle and to honor our fishermen. As I walked by the dark side one evening so fair To view the salt water and take the sea I heard an old fisherman singing a song Won't you take me away boys my time is not
We pray for those we miss, those who work on the sea, and those who wait for them, saying, in your great mercy, and responding, hear our prayer. Holy One of creation, this world provides so much more than we can ask or imagine. Make us aware of the bounty of our planet home and inspire us to care for it. In your great mercy, hear our prayer. Holy One of those who work, we offer our thanks for those who participate in your ongoing creation through providing food, providing organization and direction, providing hardware and software, and through providing accompaniment. Open our eyes to see your presence in all those around us. In your great mercy, hear our prayer. Holy One of those who are missed, we struggle to release those who have died on the sea. We want to cling to hope. We want to cling to relationship. We want to hold on to dreams. Therefore, we remember those who have not returned, especially this year, those who were lost on the Margaret Jane. And as we remember, we also ask for faith to trust the promise that both we and they are being held in your loving hands and that nothing will separate us from that love. In your great mercy, hear our prayer. Holy One of those who mourn, your love enables us to be honest about our grief. We offer our prayers for those who have been left behind to pick up the pieces of shattered lives. Give assurance of your presence to those who weep. In your great mercy, hear our prayer. Holy One of those who support others, we give thanks for those who reach out with care and compassion to those who suffer grief, loss, injury, isolation, and illness. Remind us, especially in this time of pandemic, that the most profound thing we can do for each other is care. In your great mercy, hear our prayer. Holy One, we are all created in your image. Give us faith to celebrate your presence. Give us strength to serve those in need. Give us hope to be persistent in doing good and give us love to share what you have given with the world. In your great mercy, hear our prayer. We pray all this in your gracious and holy name. Amen. The honor roll this year includes the names of those lost in years ending in zero. 1890, Stedman Parks. 1930, Albert Clark, John Kinnickel, Avery Levy, Philip Marks, Merrill Smith. 1940, Byron Conrad, Lawrence Demo, William Hahn, Ellis Hynek, Guy Now, Angus Romke, Earl Tumlin, Alan Wenzel, Albert Wynot, 1950, Harry Cooper, John Goldsworthy, Haslam Kinnickel, Otto Kinnickel, Guy Tanner, Morton Tan. 1960, Randolph Brushett, 
Gilbert Conrad, Ivan D. Demo, Everett Canock, Albert Ruland, Ray Tanner, Ivan S. Wilson, 1970, Graham Laffin, 1980, Kelly Kroos, Sidney Hannams, Aloysius Hinks, Manuel Gesso, Leonard Snook, 1990, M. Kelly Thorne. organizations, businesses, and individuals. In memory of all fishermen, given by the Government of Canada, the Honorable Bernadette Jordan, Minister of Fisheries, Oceans, and the Coast Guard, and MP for Social St. Margaret's, and represented today by Senator Wilford Moore. In memory of all fishermen, given by the province of Nova Scotia, and represented by our MLA, Suzanne Lonis Croft. In memory of all fishermen by the town of Lunenburg, represented today by myself, of course, and Councillor Matt Brister. In memory of all fishermen, the municipality of the district of Lunenburg. In memory of all fishermen by the town of Mahone Bay, represented by Mayor David Savannah. In memory of all fishermen by the Lunenburg and District Fire Department. In memory of all fishermen by Blue Nose 2. In memory of all fishermen by St. Barnabas Anglican Church Blue Rocks. In memory of all fishermen St. Paul's United Church, Blue Rocks and Stonehurst. In memory of all fishermen, Highliner Foods. In memory of all fishermen, Clearwater. In memory, particularly, of the four crew lost when the Margaret Jane went down 40 years ago by Adams and Knickle. In memory of all fishermen, the Lunenburg Board of Trade. In memory of all fishermen, seaside flowers. In memory of all fishermen, Lunenburg Marine Museum Society. In memory of all fishermen, Fisheries Museum of the Atlantic. In memory of all lost seafarers, given by captain and crew of the Pitching Castle in memory of Gregory Wynott, given in loving memory by Sister Susie and Brother Jamie. In memory of Charles Hancock, given by son Sheldon, daughter-in-law Eva Marie, grandsons Patrick and Keith, and great-granddaughter Olive. In memory of Pat Pittman of OCI, 
given by Unicor Local 1944 in memory of all fishermen. Another given by Unicorn Local 1944. In memory of Urban Pinnacle, Ronald Pinnacle, and Stafford Bronte by Errol Pinnacle and family. In memory of Lauren Allen Garber, given lovingly by daughter Kathy, son-in-law Vernon, grandkids Monica, Lynn, Lauren, Allen, and great grandkids Brody, Jade, and Parker. Also in memory of Lauren Barber, from wife Shirley, daughter Brenda, Bridget, and son Philip. All of these reads are given with great respect and with the utmost of dedication and caring for those lives lost. And we'll have a ceremonial wreath now placed on the carrying vessel, the Kennedy Sky, captain Jeff by, captained by Jeff Wagner, and Chris Sear will do the honor of taking the wreath given by a pick. continue this 2020 Fisher's Memorial Service with our traditional blessing of the fleet, performed by both the clergy and representatives of local churches of the South Shore. For Skipper's Choice, Captain by Milton Bush, may God bless her and all who sail in For Melissa Ann, Captain by Craig Tanner. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Easter, Captain by Todd Tanner, may God bless her and all who sail in her.
for Simon's pride, Captain by Simon Bush. May God bless her and all who sail in her. For Muscoot, Captain by Oliver Coke, may God bless her and all who sail in her. For Island Mistress, Captain by Troy Tanner, may God bless her and all who sail in her. Peninsula Pride, Captain Arthur Gartner. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Family Tradition, Captain Jason Conrad, may God bless her and all who sail in her. God bless her and all who sail in her. Wagner's Revenge, Captain Robert Wagner. May God bless her and all who sail in her.
Chelsea Dunn, Captain Larry Richard. May God bless you and all who sail in them. her and all who sail in her. Bundy Jewel, Captain Desi Knickle. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Shadow 2, under the command of Tim Wenzel. May God bless her and all who sail. Jacqueline Ann under the command of Craig Winter. God bless her and all who sail. the Yasmin B under the command of Chad Parts. May God bless her and all who sail in her.
Miss KC under the command of Joel Tanner. May God bless her and all who sail in. Marie, under the command of Ed Hunt. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Gale, under the command of Jeremy Morash. May God bless her and all who sail in her. sky is taking out the wreath which will be placed in honor of those who did not come home we offer the following prayer loving and gracious one we offer these wreaths and flowers to you in memory of those who are being held in your loving hands 
as we release them into the ocean, surround us with your love. Reassure those who remember, who mourn, and who still work on the water, that you will be our ever-present help in trouble. Give us confident faith to trust your promise that you will never leave us or forsake us and use all your people to touch with your love those who need it most. We pray in your holy name. Amen. As the fishing boats go out to sea, I'd like to thank everyone who contributed to this service today. And I want to thank our all facets of the community who come together every year to remember the lives of our lost fishers. We will remember them. When I have money for to spend and time to sit and talk a while there is a girl lives in this place and i'm sure she has my heart beguiled with her rosy cheeks and her cherry lips she stole my tender heart away so fill to me the parting glass, for here no longer can I stay, and fill to you the parting glass, and part with your nice company. There is nothing that could grieve me more than to see you going so far away. Can believe me well or believe me not It is from you I intend to go You can think on me, my blue-eyed girl When and where all stormy winds do blow Oh, all the friends that e'er I had are sorry now I'm going away and all the sweethearts e'er I had would wish me one more day to stay but since it falls on to my lot that I should rise and you should not I'll gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be.